anyways, this is the JP version uh, announcement discussing the new Kyrie medal, which is right here. <laughs> I don't know what the exact name of the Kyrie medal is going to be. Uh, they have it listed for now as, where was it? Supernova Kingdom Hearts 3 Kyrie. That's all they have listed as. So we're assuming it's it's going to be Kingdom Hearts 3 Kyrie B. That's what we're assuming right now. Um, oh, actually, I made a thumbnail card showing what she does. I'll go ahead and like uh, grab the Google translation of it. So like right here, this is the the info about it. I'll just post the image I made of, of her earlier though. Just to go over it. Supernova Kingdom Hearts 3 Kyrie B, assuming that's what she's called, is going to be a tier nine medal, uh, magic upright tier nine medal, zero gauges, AOE, does one hit, has a seven star multiplier of a 52.44. Uh, I have been blessed with a live stream while I wait for Destiny. <laughs> hey, thanks so much for stopping by, Cold Dust. Uh, for one turn, it provides a 200% guilt boost, does not affect counters. Uh, and the new mechanic with this metal is that it provides a plus 500 strength stat increase to upright metals, as well as it provides a plus 500 general defense stat increase to all metals, okay? Um, and it is worth noting that the uh, plus 500 strength and defense does stack. So if you use the metal multiple times, it will stack. The Supernova has a multiplier of 160, but when you evolve it with Meow Wows, it goes to 200. Uh, has a 200% guilt boost, but when evolved, it has a 230% guilt boost instead. And its ability is that it provides a plus 5,000 upright strength stat to all metals <laughs> you can for that one turn as well as uh decreases the enemy's upright general strength uh wait upright general and psm defense by seven tiers and it also does not affect counters what's up phaser how you doing dude but yeah the main thing to keep a note though oh well i guess i haven't got over bus she provides basically all buffs except reverse so general, all at 10 tiers, general strength plus 10, upright strength plus 10, PSM strength plus 10. She provides no debuffs at all whatsoever for her base uh, base ability. Um, to be honest though, in terms of Kyrie, I guess I can lower this, let me put this here. Hey, there we go. Okay, we'll do that. So in terms of this Kyrie, the main thing to note about her is the fact that she's, to be honest, She's kind of trash. <laughs> She's kind of trash. The there's the only thing, quite literally the only thing that makes this meta worth going for, which makes her meta is the whole uh plus 500 strength and defense ability that she has because it can stack on top of the fact that her supernova provides a plus 5000 strength boost. That is the only thing that matters for this metal. Qu like quite literally the only thing. The rest of her it's just utter trash. All of the other medals that we have currently out right now, all of the latest medals we've been having without, uh, lately, pretty much just outrank her, period. In terms of buffs, they outrank her, okay. Um, multiplier, outrank her. Uh, guilt boost, I think, too, outrank her. Uh, pretty much almost everything about her just get outranked by almost everything else, <laughs> easily. It's, just, it's literally just the new mechanic. That makes her meta. Um, hey, John Batista, thank you so much for the follow. So, for anybody who's wondering, well, why exactly does the new mechanic make her meta? Well, it's primarily because of the fact that... Think about it the same way with how 7-star medals and Meow Wow medals came out. When the 7-star medals came out, it increased their stats. Um, which meant that, of course, that you had to have to use the seven star medals in order to pass more recent content okay because the, the content was built around seven star medals um same thing applies to to blue fairies when blue fairies came out oh yeah, yeah my bad blue fairies were evolved into getting seven star when meow wows came out i got them swapped in my head when the meow wows came out uh it did a very similar thing where it basically almost like not doubled their stats but it provided a huge jump in their stats roughly around five five an extra five thousand uh stat increase for both attack and defense so and because of how large of a stat increase it was um 
Nyawa medals were the meta compared to regular seven star medals. Um, because, and it's still kind of relevant today, but not nearly as much so as it was back then. Uh, where back in the day, one plus 1000 strength, like you've got that trait, wasn't really that big of a deal. Uh, it was pretty much that you had to rely on just the minus 60 uh, traits instead. But if you happen to have at least like two or 3000 strength traits, then it would start to make a little bit of a difference back then uh, before Meowers came out. When Meowers came out, it was a good measuring point of how effective the Meowers actually were. Because even just right now, I mentioned how before Meowers, uh, before Meadows would be able to get evolved through Meow Meowows, you needed at least like two or three thousand to see any sort of notable difference in damage output with your medals uh, if you had those traits. Okay, so of course, if I, if you only needed two or three thousand to make a difference, five thousand of course makes a difference. On top of the fact, you could actually do an extra two thousand from Chips and Dales too. So it's effectively almost like an entire plus 7,000 stat increase, <laughs> more or less. Uh, completely nuts. So if we have a medal like Kingdom Hearts 3 Kyrie, and I'm assuming Shion is gonna be the exact same thing, just the reverse version. I have no doubt in my mind that's gonna be the case. Uh, but if we have a medal like Kingdom Hearts 3 Kyrie that also buffs stats now too as part of the ability, which honestly, I was kind of expecting that they were gonna do sometime i didn't know when but the idea did come to me after a while because like they've clearly just been focusing on just buffing raw stats at this point which is probably the worst and most unfun way to interact with a meta um or a game for that matter oh no my uh, phone turned off okay um but yeah considering the fact that her her ability can be stacked multiple times if you like quad cast this metal so let's say uh Kyrie herself has extra attack on top of the fact you use a copy metal that has extra attack on her to quad cast her so you cast her four times you're effectively getting plus 2000 strength and defense for all of your metals on your setup that's that's a really large chunk in addition to whatever stat boost the rest of your metals already have on their own it's it's gonna be a huge deal um not even counting the fact that her supernova and i'll i'll uh not even counting the fact that her supernova provides a plus 5000 upright strength stat as well it's it's gonna be absolutely nuts she's gonna be not not broken exactly but she's gonna uh, <laughs> uh yeah she's she's gonna be ridiculous to say the least um simply because of that mechanic the rest of her is completely garbage compared to what's already currently out um but yeah that one ability right there is gonna be absolutely nuts i wouldn't doubt it either that uh if you even if you if you guys have not been pulling for like the last few months with all these like garbage kingdom hearts 3 deals that they've been doing out lately uh and how like almost every metal is almost exactly the same as the last one just slightly different attribute buff instead of speed is power oh yay good job uh what was i going with this oh yeah i was saying like uh so even if you haven't been pulling lately and you haven't really been getting too many of the most la uh, latest medals quite literally Kyrie alone could just like all of a sudden boost you up to be able to complete some of the more recent events just on her own with with some of your older medals uh she's she's going to be that effective um, it's almost equiv- I wouldn't say equivalent. Uh, well, if you use a supernova, it would be equivalent. But, uh, depending on how you use her, she was almost effectively the same as, like, half of a Meow Wow upgrade. If that's why one you want to look at it. Hey, what's up, Final Gamer? How you doing? That was my spiel about Kingdom Hearts 3 Kyrie. And like I said before, I'm pretty sure Shion is going to be the exact same thing as Kingdom Hearts 3 Kyrie, just reverse version so it'll provide she'll provide a reverse buff instead of an upright buff uh and provide reverse metals with plus five thousand or plus 500 strength instead of upright metals yeah 
half a meow for every metal. It's it's a little nuts. It's a bit nuts. Okay, but yeah. So I made that picture there as just to help uh, this picture. I made this. I, I basically helped put everything that's right here into that one picture for you guys, so you don't have to <laughs> you don't have to worry about looking at super small fine print and stuff. Um, one thing that is worth noting though about the Kyrie deal, which is better, okay, in terms of their whole VIP deal banner stuff, is uh, they're making it so that the VIP deal is a guaranteed mercy on Kyrie herself. Whereas the free to play deal is uh, still a mercy pool, but it's one of those random mercy pools, which is not really a mercy pool. Uh, you're, you're, you can get one of the four medals, which are these two Soras and Young Z Z Zaynort, Young uh, Ericus. Guys, before I jump into Overwatch to practice with my Overwatch team for the night. Just came in, answer me one question. Is this new Kyrie medal more useful than Kyrie in Kena Hearts 3? Yes. Without a doubt, <laughs> Gamer Armidius. She is like 20, or I don't even know about 20 times. I would just say like, Kyrie in Kena Hearts 3 didn't have a use at all. This, at, least, at least this Kyrie has a use. It's kinda, uh, just saying that is a bit like, oof, shade, but oh well. I didn't even think of copy medals. Yeah, no, like quite literally. It's she's gonna be she's gonna be ridiculous. Um, you know what's even worse? I'm willing to bet that the new meta. <laughs> Am I trying to make it cry? Here's even the worst thing. I'm willing to bet that because of her ability, okay. Watch, watch this. I'm willing to bet that because of this new ability, you know how, how we have some copy medals. That can, uh, like the, the whole, like, Foo, uh, what's his face? Shoe or whatever. The, the ones that can, like, copy two spaces away. I'm willing to bet you that there's going to be entire setups dedicated to just copying her as much as possible. Because the more times you can copy Kingdom Hearts 3 Kyrie B, the more stats all your medals get. Which means that if you could effectively... You can effectively copy, uh, use her eight times. If you can use her about eight times in a setup, that is plus 4,000 stat increase to strength and attack on top of <laughs> the supernova. <laughs> oh my, oh my, I just realized that makes it make her even more broken because the supernovas as well, supernovas do damage based off the strength stat of your metals. So, if you use her, if you use her ability, you stack her ability and use her supernova ability first before you use your other metal supernovas, your other metal supernovas will just explode in damage. Just explode. That actually just makes her more broken than I uh, initially thought, than I realized. Jesus Christ. Like quite effectively, hold on. I kind of want to go back to the, my computer screen now. Like, let's go to Tracker. Yeah, exactly. The one-hit Marluxia build. Hold on. I, I wouldn't doubt it if there ends up being a build similar to this. Let me see if I can make it real quick. So, something like this. And then you have the Kyrie right here in slot two. Okay? Assuming that all three of these copy medals have extra attack, and then you have the Kyrie right here in slot two, um, and Kyrie herself has extra attack. Use her f eight times, you basically copy her eight times. Each time she's getting stronger by a thousand, okay, as you go through. Her multiplier, remember her multiplier, is a 52.44. It's not the highest in the game, but it's actually still a pretty decent multiplier. So, when you have a metal that's literally increasing by 1,000 strength, every single slot <laughs> by the time you get here you already have plus 2000 strength and th this one is already providing an extra th uh, thousand strength as well and it just literally increases so that by the time uh when and in the future once they do start printing uh supernova copy uh, backwards copy metals as well it's going to absolutely 
make like this will quite literally be the setup to have just copy use Kyrie eight times on the first four medals then have your two strongest medals in the very back or or what you could even do too is just have another copy medal right here so then you have another supernova copy medal so in this case like Lee okay then you grab the strongest hard-hitting metal in the game with the biggest multiplier and you slap it on that last slot okay so what would that be right now is marluxia still the top or something hold on let me check yeah marluxia still the top okay uh well i think that's marluxia with the critical hit yeah i'm pretty sure that's with the critical hit it's like a 47 without the critical hit Okay, so it'll be like Guardian Form Sora. Let's just say it's for consistency, it's Guardian Form Sora. Okay. So you put this dude here, and this effectively becomes the strongest setup in the entire game. <laughs> it's just copy metals. It's mostly copy metals, one Kyrie, and your strongest metal, and that's it. That is it. This setup will literally be absolutely busted. Because remember, not only does these supernova from your copy metal become 20 times stronger because of all the freaking stat buffs that have been provided throughout the whole thing uh but your strongest metal itself too just gets outrageous stat buffs um actually no actually no he would not be the strongest pirate sword is the strongest because he has like 50,000 strength right okay well it would be pirate sword because he has 50,000 strength from what i last remember seeing um so this yeah Pirate Sora would just be like right here. And even if it was pi what wasn't Pirate Sora, the setup would be effectively the same. You just put your strongest metal there the whole time and you just win. <laughs> and the worst the worst part is, uh, I don't know if you guys remember, I haven't updated it in a while, but on my website, I have like a, a meta tab in terms of, oh, where is it? Uh, the meta. I have the meta tab dedicated towards keeping track of what are the most meta setups for different types of situations. So I have like uh, one turn single target setups, one turn AOE setups or like, so like this is good for like those like really hard uh, enemies that are just trying to kill immediately in one turn. This is good for like Coliseum. Uh, then you have universal setups where you're fighting those really long events. You're trying to survive as long as possible while still like cutting things down. All of this, literally all of this would just be completely irrelevant because they're all going to be exactly the same setups. <laughs> Quite literally, they're all going to be exactly the same setups just because of the fact they're going to look exactly like this. The copy metals might change, but that would be it. It would be like different copy metals, but it would still be Kyrie here. And the last slot is just whatever your strongest metal is. It will literally break the entire game because of that one uh mechanic new mechanic